Welcome back to Blue Collar Coder. I'm Jack Harrington, and today we're going to jump back into the world of Module Federation by taking it into production, which is something that we've never done before. It's really easy, and it's fun, and it's fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to go build out two different applications. One's going to be a header application, and then another is going to be a consumer application that consumes that header. It's pretty easy stuff. We'll bo build both of those, put those up on the Versal, using their GitHub integration, and then make a change to the header and see that change automatically in the consuming app. It's really fast. Let's go jump into the code. So here I have my page on Versal. I use the GitHub login variant, and so far it's in free, so that's cool. So over on GitHub, I'm going to use the WP5 Starter React template, which is linked to in the description down below. I'm going to use that as a template. And I'm going to specify a prod test header for the name. So this application is going to have the header in it. We'll create that. And I'll create another one called prod test consumer. And that's going to consume the header. So next thing I'm going to do is create a directory called prod test and clone in prod test header. I don't need to have that parent directory. It's really just to keep things organized on my disk. And then I'll also clone the consumer. Bring up VS Code. And now let's head over into the Webpack config for the header. It's a pretty standard Webpack config. It puts up a site on port 8080, it's a React site. And it's got our module federation plugin, which I'll get to in a second. So let's start that up, take a look. And it looks good, it just says hello from Webpack 5. So let's go and bring that into Versal. I'm just gonna do import project. And then bring in the URL for the header project. And then I'll just click continue here, just basically the default. All right, then over here in import project, I am going to override that I want the build command to be yarn build and that the output directory is dist. All right, here it is starting up. Chomp, 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 chomp. And then we get a congratulations, and the congratulations has a blank image on it, and we'll see in a second why that is, so let's go and visit that site. And now it does say hello from YPAC5, but if we go over and we look in the inspector panel, you can see they were actually including the source from localhost 8080, which is only working because I have my development server running. So let's go stop that, and then refresh. And now it doesn't work because localhost 8080 isn't running. So clearly, we want to define that when it goes to production, we want to be relative to the Versal app domain. Let's copy out that domain name, and we'll come back over into Webback Config. And what we're going to be doing is altering this public path depending on whether we're in development mode or in production mode. So we're going to turn this module exports from something that's just an object into a function that returns an object. Now that function takes two arguments, and the second is argv. We're going to use argv and mode. So we'll go over here in the public path, and we'll say if argv mode is development, then use localhost. Otherwise, use versal. Nice. Let's check to make sure that's the only thing I changed. Yep. Let's fire it up just to make sure it still works in development mode. And it does. Great. OK. Let's stop the server, and then let's commit this to GitHub. Now my shell has a little macro called ggp, which is just a git push, and that's going to push it to GitHub. And go back over to the project, and we can see that if I look under deployments, it's now deploying again. And these are really quick. And we can see right away now we got a little bit of text up in the over in the corner, and that is our app that's actually running. So let's click on that and see what happens. OK, this looks good. And localhost isn't running, so that's not where it's getting the JavaScript source. So let's go take a look over in the inspector one more time. And it all looks good. Great. 
All right, so the next thing to do is create a header. So let's go and build out a header.jsx file, import React, create ourselves a simple header, and then we'll import that and use it in our app. And now we also put in there that we have a header app so we can distinguish between the two. Now let's fire it up and see if it works. And yep, works locally. It's got a nice little light blue header there. And we'll make one more change and that's to export it from this application using module federation. So let's go alter the webpack config and expose the header and also name this header. All right, let's build to make sure that it works. And then we'll push it to GitHub. And building one more time, and it looks great. All right, so the next thing to do is to consume this using that prod test consumer. So let's go and alter that one. First thing we're going to do is change out the port number to 8081. And then we're going to specify that the name of the application is consumer. And that a remote called header exists and we'll give it that versal URL with remote entry on it. Now we'll head back over to the source. We'll import header from header slash header, because that's how we defined it over in the webpack config. And then we'll change out our React to include that header and have a little I'm the consumer app in there so we can distinguish between the two. And now let's try it out just locally. And it works first time. How about that? Pretty cool. But it wouldn't be a full example unless we showed how to do this in production. So let's go back over to the Webpack config and copy out that section that allowed us to change public path. Paste that in here. We'll change the URL so it's 8081 and also prod test consumer. And then change this to be a function. Let's start up one more time just locally to make sure. All right, looking good. And then let's commit it to GitHub. Then we're going to go have a look at our Versal site, but we don't have the project yet, so we're going to need to import that. So let's go over and import that repo. Same exact thing as before. Yarn build and dist. And boom, we can see it's working just right away. That's great. That's the consumer app. So now to check if this is really live sharing, does this actually share between those two? Let's go over and make a change to our original header. I'll make that a green background with white text on it. And also bolder fonts. And now let's commit that to GitHub. And that'll force another build on Versal. All right, that deploy is still going. And it's looking pretty good on the header site. Let's take a look on the consumer site. And there it is. You got your green header. So everything's being shared live between header and consumer and in production and in development. OK, well, there it is. Module Federation in production. Pretty easy stuff. All right. If you have any questions, be sure to put those in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit that like button. Let everybody know if you really like the video, hit the subscribe button. Click on that bell and you'll be notified anytime a new one of these videos comes out. And in the meantime, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.